So it is later in the day. I am at home working. <clears throat> My lesson got canceled for the evening or at least rescheduled. So working on that and uh, yeah, just trying to figure out another time to get together. To figure that out but um yeah just been doing some wedding stuff trying to get my my stuff finished there that way i'll have as many of these weddings done as possible that way i can get them out to my clients i'm really excited about getting those out um weddings take time there's there's hours and hours of editing that takes uh to make a wedding finished you know i, I want to make sure that everything looks perfect i'm not saying that I'm, I'm fixing the things that were wrong but i want the photos to look like mine and to do that i've got to put my spin on them and if you'd like to see how i do that definitely check out the let's edit videos that i'm doing i'm putting out a few more that i think you guys are going to like too so stay tuned for those all right well if you watched my vlog yesterday that you know that uh annie and i went shopping last night now we didn't really pick up much and we're also clearance rack shoppers because there's all types of stores around town so there's no reason to pay full price for anything because there's plenty of places we can get all kinds of really cool stuff um one of which is j crew we both really really like j crew so um we went in there last night and they had clearance rack stuff and normally i don't find much at j crew because i don't know usually i guess my sizes are always gone or whatever else whatever's left i don't like but um i always find socks and i'm a big sock guy if you've watched my vlog before you know i'm, I'm big into socks but i found these these are like a blue and green with a um a heather gray base which i think is a really good looking sock and it's, it's long which i like a lot and uh, i found these which are gray with uh navy toe and heel and a calf stripe there and then this is all like a, a red horizontal stripe which i really like these were 1050 marked down to 597 i did not pay 597 for these they had an extra 40 percent off i ended up paying i think seven bucks for both pair which is a fantastic deal the only other thing I picked up yesterday was this. This is from Airpostel. I really like this line of shirts they have. It's called Free State. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever uh, shopped at Airpostel before, but that's what it's called, Free State. Um, I really, really like this shirt. This is a uh, this is a West Coast shirt. This is golden. It says Golden State of Mind, and it's got the uh, I think it's the San Francisco Bridge uh, or the Golden the Golden Gate Bridge right there. Yeah, Golden. You get it. Anyway, I really, really like these shirts. I'm actually wearing one right now. This is the uh, the overhead New York one. I just really, really like it. Everything just feels good about these shirts. They're just really, really comfortable. Um, they're made in, I think, Guatemala, which is really cool. Um, they're not like uh, some Chinese factory shirt. And they feel great. This is 1950 on the tag. They had them marked down to 10. And then I only ended up paying seven for it because they had a 30% off employee discount sale whatever else which is pretty cool so i caught that on the last night got this shirt for seven bucks which is a pretty awesome deal because it's a really really nice quality shirt this is my third one uh, from the free state um uh line i guess and i really really like it i, I like uh, most of the time air apostle stuff always has arrow on it like everywhere but uh these shirts don't have a name on them at all you know they don't say anything they just have a you know, usually a message or something in a really cool screen. And I, I really like this screen a lot because, you know, you've got a little bit of like a, like a Carolina blue almost here. And it's a navy shirt and this is all just white. It's just really done well. I like this shirt a lot. So you'll probably see me rocking this in the future. Another update because I know you guys have seen them before. Uh, these, which are the Jordan Old School 2 or Old School 3s, not Old School 2s, the Old School 3s, um, I sold. They're on eBay. They were on eBay. Um, I sold them for around I think 25 bucks and uh, yeah I mean that's that's pretty much what I paid for them they're in pretty good shape and I'm um, looking forward to getting them out to their new owner because uh, these are cool shoes these were like my first pair of like multicolored Jordans and I think they'll do someone extremely well I will probably look for another pair in the future just because I, I really like the silhouette of this shoe I think it's a good looking shoe um, but you can't wear it with everything obviously that's it for Jarrett's clothing talk. Let's get back to photography work. So working on some stuff here and I just wanted to show you something because I think this is fantastic. Um, I shoot raw 
images. Um, I shoot uh, Fuji cameras, so the file format is dot RAF, not dot JPEG or dot NEF or CRT or whatever else. Uh, there's all different types of file formats, and JPEG being the most easiest because that's what you can put on anything. Everybody can recognize a JPEG image, but raw files are just completely uncompressed. And if you're a photographer, you know this already. But I just wanted to show you the power of a raw file and how much you can bring out of an image. Um, this image that I'm about to show you is just a complete fluke. It's just really, really interesting. Um, <clears throat> I was shooting two or three images of people uh, dancing and my, fi my flash didn't fire, uh, probably just because of uh, battery life or whatever else. Anyway, um, I got this photo because my flash didn't fire. So check this out. So this is the image I'm talking about. It's pretty much uh, terrible. I mean, you can't see anything. You can you can make out the fact that there's a person standing here. You can see a person standing here, but it still is just a black image. But if you look over here um, on the uh, the toolbar, I have all these different tools and stuff that I can use. So I'm going to show you what I'm able to do to bring this image back. Okay, I'm just going to zoom this out so you can see it. Now, um, my mouse is here. I'm going to go to Exposure. Okay, I'm going to click on Exposure. I'm just going to bring it up. So watch this. Boom. That is three and a half stops of difference. Okay, um, now a lot of times you would see a lot of noise in an image. Like just to give you another example, um, this is another image that is extremely bad. Um, if I were to bring this up, if you look here, it looks like Swiss cheese, like it's just really bad. Um, if you bring it out, even like this is just terrible. But if you look at this image that I just fixed, it's still like in really good condition. It's still very sharp. You can see a lot of detail. Um, very, very great. <clears throat> anyway, I just think that's fantastic. And uh, this is why I shoot in raw file format. Okay, so there's one more thing I forgot to show you guys that I picked up. And that is this little thing. This is an egg timer. I got it from Ikea. This, oh, I guess it's not really an egg timer. It's a 60 minute timer, which is pretty cool. Um, it's flat on the top. It's aluminum. It's brushed. It's nice. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a GoPro time lapse machine. Now a lot of people have done this before, basically uh, you just put a, uh, a GoPro mount on the top and then you'll be able to get a 360 view over 60 minutes, which is really neat and that's what I want to do, but what I'm going to do a little differently is I'm not going to make a permanent GoPro attachment to the top because sometimes I think I might actually like to use this camera, which is the G7X or um, any number of other small cameras that I have. But it is really cool and I like it a lot and right now because I want to do something in the morning I'm going to go ahead and put a GoPro mount on it and uh, have it ready so I can do uh, some test footage tomorrow. So let's get this thing attached. Okay, so this is it. All right, so I've got it just gaff taped to the top, but it's it's really secure. Um, you know, as you can see, this is not going anywhere. You'll see it's set on zero at the moment. All you do is twist till you find what you want it on. I'm gonna go ahead and twist it all the way down. Okay, and now I'm on 60 minutes. All right, back to zero. And what it'll do is it'll do a full 360 and stop back here. All right, so just fast forwarding a bit. We'll get right here, go off. You done? Thank you. Anyway, I think this is gonna be a pretty cool little trick for some uh, different type of time lapses. I know a lot of people have done this before, but I like time lapses and I wanna start using them a little more. So just another fun little thing to add to the bag. Again, um, they make, uh, Amazon has one that's like this. It's uh, like a flat one that has a GoPro mount on the top of it. It's made for this type of work, but it's like 25 bucks. This I bought for, I think four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's four. Anyway, uh, you know, it's just a little egg timer that Ikea has. Really, really simple. And uh, if you're in an Ikea, you need to check it out. There's all types of really cool stuff you can get in Ikea. <laughs> All right guys, well, another productive evening at my desk. 
and uh, just trying to get as much as I can done. I, I did a lot of stuff today though. I got very productive today. A lot of stuff checked off the list, which is making me feel pretty good. Anyway, heading to bed now so I can get up tomorrow, do it all over again. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.